What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add iOS apps to your Mac dock. Now, these apps don't have Mac OS versions, so how are they running on my Mac? Well, it's really simple. Before we get into that though, it is important to note that you do have to be on at least Mac OS Sonoma in order to do this. And thankfully, this is pretty straightforward. Say for example, I wanted to add a YouTube app. Just go under File and Safari and Add to Dock, and you can see it's right there. It says YouTube, and all I have to do is just press Add, and it's right there. It's in my dock. I can open it, and it opens as a separate application. It's pretty cool. Now, you can do this for literally anything you want. I'm gonna do it with a couple apps. I did it with the dopamine jailbreak, so the dopamine jailbreak comes up now. And also, I'm gonna do it with Snapchat, so you can see I have Netflix, Instagram, YouTube, dopamine, and Snapchat all right here to select from. I can open these and resize these windows, and visually, it just looks really cool to have all of these look like they're separate applications on my Mac. Now, yes, iOS has had this feature for years, the whole add to home screen feature. Essentially, it works pretty much the same way and it's pretty much just a web app. But I do think this makes navigating different social medias that don't have dedicated macOS apps very interesting. Something I just discovered as well is you also can click on the icon and you can customize it too. So if you want a different icon for whatever app you're adding to your dock, you essentially can theme these apps. What's interesting also is it's telling me to open the Instagram app that I made when I go to Instagram on Safari now. I actually think this looks pretty clean and to me it looks like it's a dedicated Instagram app. What do you guys think? Is this something you're gonna use? I honestly don't really know if I'm actually gonna use this in day to day, but I do think it's still a pretty cool feature that Apple added. For people that love customizing their device, I definitely could also see a use case with this now that you can customize the icon. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.